Hello everybody, welcome to A Tale of Spices. Today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade uh, pizza base and uh, garlic bread base. So this is actually the one base which can be used to make your pizza or your garlic bread or even a loaf of bread. So I'm just going to show you the basic uh, dough. So for that I have here half a cup of very lukewarm water. To that I'm adding 10 grams of instant yeast. This is available in the market. You get active dry yeast and you get instant active dry yeast. So this is the instant one so it doesn't need to uh, bloom or uh, set. I'm just using it in the water to mix it up so that you know it mixes quite well. I'm adding 2 teaspoons of sugar and just give it a quick mix. So just for it to blend nicely, that's all. So this is mixed up nicely. I have taken here, this is 3 cups of uh, maida flour. I'm, I'm showing it to you with maida flour. You can use whole wheat flour or a mix of uh, maida and whole wheat. So it's up to you to do that. You can use only whole wheat flour also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about one and a half teaspoon of salt to it. And use your hands, okay? Please, you don't need all your uh, fancy uh, equipments to do the kneading process. Use your hands. They are really good for kneading your dough. And the more you need the softer and your chewier your uh, base is going to be or your bread is going to be so just give it a quick light mix of the salt together now in the middle i'm going to make a well and i'm going to add this yeast mixture into it now what i have used i said is instant yeast if you don't have instant yeast you get another variety which is called the active dry yeast for that, what you have to do is you have to take lukewarm water with one teaspoon of sugar and add the uh, yeast into it and let it sit for minimum 10 minutes so you know it will start to bubble up. And once that is bubbled up, then you can use it the same way. So I'm just going to give it a quick mix. Now I'm going to knead the dough with uh, partly milk and partly water. So first up, I'm going to use up my milk. I'm using about one cup of milk here. And give it a quick mix. You can add a little bit of water to it too. After your one cup of milk. Just you know required amount. So you know your whole dough comes together. It has to be a... Uh, semi soft dough it should not be very loose it should not be tight too so it should be a semi soft dough this is what is called a 50% hydration for the bread if you're using only um, like you know if you're going to make a crusty uh, french bread or something then it needs more hydration so it's a looser dough so it needs about 70 to 80% hydration so this is requiring only 50% hydration, so it's going to be like a semi-soft dough. I'm just going to add a little more water and try to get the whole thing formed into a nice dough. Yeah. So you see this has come together beautifully. Now this is quite a soft, semi-soft dough. Now you need a really clean working surface. Best is to have your countertop. You know, because you need that space to move around. So I'm just going to take up the whole thing onto my countertop. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to take about one to two tablespoon of oil and work that oil into the dough. So just about that much. And I'm going to work the oil into the dough and use both the hands so what you're going to do now is take the whole thing fold press and push turn fold press and push so this is called the kneading process now this kneading 
as much as you do, your bread is going to be that much softer and chewier. So this is the main thing for making a bread or a pizza or a garlic bread, any of those. So the base is got to be that good. So I'm going to knead this for almost four or five minutes. Three. So this is after almost five minutes. So you mm -hmm. see that when you do that, the dough will spring back to its original form. That means the dough is ready. At this point, I'm going to take the bowl. I'm going to add a good drizzle of oil in the base. Put the right side up first. Spread the dough and then turn it upside down. Then spread it out just with your palm. Now you take a muslin cloth which has been wet and squeezed. Just put it on top. It doesn't need to touch the dough. Just put it on top and keep it in a place for about two to three hours if possible. If not, at least minimum of one hour. So this is after about an hour the dough has risen almost to the double so I'm just going to take the dough I'm just going to press it a little so to make the kulcha you do not need the excess uh, loose flour to dust on the board so you're going to actually use this grease which was there at the bottom to help you roll it out. So I'm just going to take about a, a big lemon sized uh, ball just roll it nicely between your palms now on my board I'm just going to put a drop of oil spread it out nicely so this will Make sure that you know the dough does not stick to the board when you're rolling it out and it comes out easily. So I'm just going to roll it up nicely, press it. If you can flatten it with your palms, please go ahead, but I can't. So I'm just going to use my rolling pin to do that. So there. Maybe just a little bit on your rolling pin too. It should be slightly thick like a paratha. Not a perfect round but it's okay. Um, I have here a tawa which is heating. It's on low flame. You need it on low flame. I'm going to take this. Put it in the middle. You're going to take a few drops of water, sprinkle on top and close it with a lid. Now this, because of the steam, it will puff up and it will cook up nicely on that one side. So this is after about two minutes. So you see how beautifully it has puffed up. So you can see all these bubbles which is formed. This is mainly because of the steam water that you put in. So now I'm going to turn it to the other side. Beautiful. So this is again going to cook. I'm going to again cover it. And it's going to cook for another two minutes on the second side. So this is after about two minutes on the second side also. And just check. You saw. Wow, beautiful. So this is done. Now you just take it on to a plate and spread some butter or some ghee 
and it's ready to serve spreading a little bit of love ghee so there you have this lovely plain kulcha with a dollop of ghee on it and i'm serving it with some aloo palak you can uh, look at the description box for the uh, recipe of the aloo palak also and uh, i hope you try it out soon and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching